Hey, what's up, Reefers? This is Molina Fam again here with another video. Um, finally got to plumb in the 75 gallon tank into the 60 gallon breeders into the sump. Uh, so everything's draining into the sump here. I got the 60 gallon breeders draining through the back through this uh, two inch uh, return pipe that returns there uh, for the 75 I'm using the same eShop's uh, 800 um, overflow box with a one inch uh, return runs through the back and drains right next to the to the two inch uh, return from the breeders so Everything's returning there, goes through the skimmer and up through uh, this Pofamax uh, return uh, pump that I got off of Amazon. It's a 3,200 gallons per hour return pump and um, I get good water um, movement with that returning to the three tanks. Um, as you guys can see here, I don't even have that open all the way on the 75. And you see the water movement I'm getting on that. You know, pretty good return flow. And uh, I'll show you on the 60 breeders what I'm getting. You know, good water movement here too. Good water movement on the return. And I'm not even running the, the pump at 100%. It's only at uh, 105, which is like 5% of the pumps capacity. I could dial this up way more and it'll give me a lot more flow um, throughout the tanks. But for now, this is all I need. Once uh, the 75 gallon gets filled with more coral, then I'll I'm able to maximize the, the pump's potential and get as much uh, water circulation and water um, movement throughout the tanks. But for now, that'll do. Uh, one of the questions in the last video was uh, what do I use for supplements for my um, for my uh, fish tanks and uh, I've always used I don't know if you guys saw a video I posted a while ago almost about a year ago on the uh, alkalinity uh, supplement that I use and that's my own baking soda I cook the baking soda make it into soda ash and um, cook it in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour uh, make a uh, one gallon's worth at a time, which is um, two of the small baking soda packets, the little square ones they sell like at the Dollar Tree, and uh, make my uh, soda ash off that. For calcium, I'm using uh, B Ionic. I use B Ionic calcium ESV, and um, that's what I use um, to dose the tank. All right. Uh, what else? Uh, I am running a, chill, a chiller. That was another of the questions that um, that I'm getting on. How do I keep my uh, tanks temperatures um, at a minimum here because of the garage? Uh, once I get home from work, I open up the garage, let a lot of air uh, circulate through here. And throughout the day, my wife just keeps the garage uh, door open slightly so we can get fresh air in here and, and uh, the heat won't get trapped as much inside the garage. Usually the tanks stay at, at 78. That's what I got the chiller here program. It's a smaller chiller. It's a DB075. It's an, uh, an Arctic chiller, but it's doing, it's doing the job. It ran the 260s with no problem with the sump. So with more water volume, it's probably gonna push itself to max um, capacity, but I'm planning on getting a bigger chiller. Uh, that way um, the smaller chiller won't have to uh, work as much and use as much power throughout the day but i am running the lights now that it's getting a little bit hotter the summer's coming so i'm gonna try to run my lights at a different schedule my lights will be coming on from 3 to 11 that way i get to enjoy uh, the tank the tanks once i'm home from work but yeah guys just a quick update uh any questions comments concerns let me know um Whatever you have in mind, leave it in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit the like button, guys. And follow me on this journey we'll, to see what I'm able to 
do it with the 75 again, bringing it back to life. Uh, I'm gonna be running the same lighting system, which was a hybrid system I was running, the two T5s with the 216 um, HDs and the Hydra 32. I'm just waiting to, I'm just gonna get two more brackets to hold the lights in place. And that's what I'm gonna be running on the 75 guys. Uh, for the frag tanks, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna keep the same lights I have. I don't see no need to change. Maybe uh, get some of those eBay uh, light bars, those uh, blue um, blue 460 nanometer bars for the for the tanks as uh, supplemental lighting. But yeah, guys, thank you again for watching. Uh, thank you for looking at my last videos. Thank you for subscribing, and thank you guys again. Until next time. All right, peace.